teach him to play a little tug. And what, what's important here is that this is gonna be also involved teaching him to drop something that's in his mouth. But rather than waiting till it's a situation where, oh, I've got that thing I'm not supposed to have and everybody's all excited about it, right? The whole house electrifies and he's got his precious thing, right? Then that's the worst time to try and teach him to drop something. So we want to practice in a controlled way within the, in the form of a game where he can then have the thing back. So I can have him chase it. When he's got it, I can just, I'm just wiggling around. I don't want to wiggle too hard with his little baby teeth. When he's full grown, you can do this really, this can become a very strong, aggressive type of game. But right now I don't want to rip his little baby teeth out. But just enough to make it alive like this. I like to pet him too, so he knows my hand's not part of the game. I'm right? used to having my hand around his face while he's got something in his mouth and just making it affectionate and fun. A little bit of growling is totally normal and fine. That's right, buddy. That's right. Now, when I want him to drop it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it real close so there's not enough room for him to wiggle. I'm going to put my hands right against my body. So I'm not pulling, good boy. And then I immediately have the game start again. So then he'll realize the sooner I let go, the sooner it, the game starts again. So I'm just basically making it alive and fun. Yeah, that's right. And then I'm gonna make it dead and boring like this. Wait, and it's just way, I'm just, I'm not pulling it away. That's the key. When you pull away, it makes them pull, they want it more. There, good. Huh, almost. I'm waiting for him to let go and move away a little bit. Good. Get him. Get him. There you go. Just like this. So it's more just sort of waiting him out. But if you're pulling, this is important, you guys, for the kids especially. When you pull away or run away or that sort of thing, that engages the dog to go after it stronger. Or if, like, so if they are messing with you and say bite your hand or your pants or your something, and you go, no, and you pull away, if they have their mouth on it, their instinct is to hold on tighter, right? If I got food in my mouth, I don't want it to get away, right? Oh, you wanna play more, right? So, um, or if they don't have it, but they're trying to get it, and you move away, they're gonna lunge after it. So, you want, when you don't want, when you want to stop, just like I'm doing with this game, even if it was with my hands, when I say stop, I stop. That makes sense. It's easier said than done. But when you're saying no or stop, your body has to stop, it has to match what you're saying. If you go, no, no, stop, stop, you're actually saying, yes, yes, come and get me. So that's where people run into a lot of trouble. Because our reflex is to move away, then their instinctive reflex is to go after it. That's right, that's right. So like, even if I'm playing with my hands, yeah, that's right, that's right. Kind of play with them, and when I want to stop, Give me a little high five in there, do you notice that? <laughs> Good boy. And then you just go back to playing with the toy. But playing with the toy is better than the little wrestling that I was doing there for most people because other, when you're wrestling, you are the toy, so they're gonna put their mouth on you. Which uh, can be fun if you like that sort of thing, but, um, but you will probably get some scratches and maybe even bruises or whatever if it gets rough. I like to do it, I've been doing it ever since I was a kid, but not a, it's like riding a skateboard or playing football. You know, if you can't handle the, the crashes, then maybe you should take up something else, right? But with this, we, this way, pretty much everybody can handle doing this because the dog's mouth is on the toy, it's not on my skin. I can let him have it. Bring it back, that's right. Good dog. Now watch again. Hold it really close. If I hold it here, he can wiggle it all over the place. So I have to hold it really close. And if I have my arm out here, it's gonna be difficult to hold it steady, right? Especially when he gets bigger. So what I gotta do, I gotta get it nice and against my body, my arms against my body, so that I'm not pulling, I'm just holding steady. I'm waiting for him to get bored. Good, almost. Good, go get it. Just like that, okay? Just simple. Give a little command. You would add the command later. 
Um, once he's getting really good at it, you add your command. Like for my dog, I say out. But you could say drop it or give or whatever you want to say. I just say out as in out of your mouth. So, um, okay, that's good.